All right, Shalom, Shalom. Uh, this is the brother Kasha Kuala from the GMS Atlanta camp. I'm with the brother. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Uh, Shama Shawan from the GMS uh, DC camp. Khan, Khan. All right. First and foremost, I want to give all glory, honor, and praises unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Racha, Kodash. All right. Give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace, love, salutation to the elect 144, first fruit. And to the sincere Akim out there pushing this word with all truth and sincerity. And Shalom to the uh, the Aqua to listen and subscribe. So this lesson today, you know, the, me and the brother was chopping it up in the spirit, you know, uh, speaking about, you know, cleansing and purging yourself uh, before this Passover. And especially um, uh, pertaining and speaking to the, the, the troublesome times that are about to come, uh, which is according to the strip scriptures called Jacob's trouble okay because we uh, during that time we want to be passed over you know we want to cleanse ourselves and the, have you how about you shy working with us so we you, obviously we're gonna go through our tribulations but we're not gonna taste of that that sword those calamities those uh, 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 pestilence and diseases and stuff like that as hard as the rest of these two-thirds you're gonna feel it and these other heathens so we got to con constantly cleanse ourselves and purge ourselves and put that blood, that spiritual blood on our doorposts. Okay. So, uh, brother, you can go ahead and re uh, uh, read that Psalm 51 and 2. Come on, come on. This is Psalm 51 verse 2. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. That's right. It says wash me thoroughly, not just like a, a you know, like a pat down. You know, just like a, a touch up, no, thoroughly. You know, when you're in the shower and the tub, you, you wash yourself thoroughly to make sure you got every nook and cranny so that you're clean, right? It's the same thing with this spiritually. This is uh, David asking Yahweh by Shimei Shai to cleanse him of his iniquities, man. Iniquity is like, uh, 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 the scriptures also talk about laden with iniquity. It's like almost like sin upon us, on sin upon sin, man. So he's like, wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin, man. Sin is like the transgression, the transgression of the law, man. So anything that we've transgressed, we want to be cleansed from that. So this is like a repentance, for say. You got something, brother? Uh, la la. Come, come. Uh, you get uh, skip down to uh, <clears throat> that verse seven, man. Come. Verse seven. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Mm -hmm. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Yep. And right there, when you when you look up uh, that that word hyssop, it says purge me with hyssop. That that that's a plant, and that plant can you be used as a, a purification um, herb, a herbal substance. Uh, and so he's saying purge me with that, because we read in verse two, it said uh, uh, wash me thoroughly. Okay, and cleanse me from my sin. And, and in verse seven, purge me with hyssop. And that plant, like I said, is a very, it's a clean, cleansing agent, man. You consume that, uh, and, and it will cleanse you, man. Okay, it says, and I shall be clean. There you go. All right. And it says, wash me again. Okay, wash me from these iniquities that I've committed, because we all know we ain't we ain't perfect. We all know we. The scripture said we fall short short of the glory. You know. It, it, the brother uh, 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 quoted a scripture earlier before we got on the lessons like we're, our, our, our righteousness are as our, is as filthy rags so we need to be washed man okay it says it shall be whiter than and I shall be whiter than snow okay that word white goes back to the word pure okay to the pure all things are pure okay and, and, and if we're pure we're gonna be a, a presentable in a um like acceptable uh, uh, sacrifice unto the Most High, man. Huh. You got something, brother? Huh, if huh. you want to expound. Huh. Yeah, because uh, I'm going to read this preach up right here. Huh. This is Ephesians 5, verse 26. That he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. You know, because right now, the Heavenly Father, through his son, Yahweh Shemel Shai, they're, uh, they're cleansing us through His Word. You know, his Word is, is holy. 
is true and us meditating upon that word you know pushing the word and uh, dealing with the word it's cleansing us from uh, our ways you know, cleansing us from, from what we were doing in the world that's right that's right the scriptures are are, are likened unto, unto water you know uh, 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 living water okay and, 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 and uh, that goes back to that word quickening which means to make alive okay um, and that living water you look at uh, uh, like a, a spring cause you know when you get like w- buy water bottles like you know what I'm saying they'll say coming from the fresh spring mountain whatever that, that spring water that river that they got that water from is constantly moving meaning it's constantly purifying itself if you pick up a rock inside of a spring water that rock is going to be smooth because that water is continually going over it and cleansing it and purifying it okay also the scriptures are likened unto fire okay if there's a virus how do you get rid of it how do you cleanse that virus burn it you know they even uh, even when you like cultivate land sometimes they burn the land and in in uh, uh, regrowth or almost like a rebirth comes man that's these scriptures you know um, yeah i got another precept go ahead brother oh um, that's a beautiful point because um uh, about those two cleansing agents fire and water you know the heavenly father uh the the, the earth was in was uh, covered in wickedness, full of wickedness in the time of uh, Noah. Mm-hmm. So the Lord cleansed the earth by flooding it with water. And now the earth, you know, the scripture says its hurtful works are fulfilled. Mm-hmm. You know, the wickedness is, is blue the whole earth. And the Lord is going to cleanse this wicked world, this earth, by fire. But uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get this scripture. This is Psalms 1. Start at 1. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. You know? That's beautiful, man. And, and in that, it said meditate. You consistently supposed to be meditating on on the Lord. I got a, a quick precept to that. This is uh, Ecclesiasticus of Sirach, chapter thirty nine, verse one. But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High, and is occupied in the meditation thereof, will seek out with out the wisdom of all the ancient, and be occupied in prophecies. Okay. And I got one, one more qu- quick one that we can get back to that um, Psalm 51. Uh, let's see something. Bear with me. All right, here it is. All right, this is Ecclesiasticus or uh, Sirach, chapter 6, verse 37. Let thy mind be upon the ordinances of the Lord, Yahweh Shimei Shai, and meditate continually in his, in his commandments. He shall establish thine heart and give thee wisdom at thine own desire. All right? Because you know, uh, when you read Sirach 101, all wisdom coming from the Lord, man. And it's wise for you to be cleaning and purging yourself uh, before this time of trouble that's about to come. And before this Passover that that we're about to see. You know? Lord willing. You know? So, uh, uh, you can could, you could skip down to uh, uh, verse 10. No, no. This is Psalms 51, verse 10. Mm-hmm. Create in me a clean heart, mm-hmm. O Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, and renew a right spirit within me. That's right. Uh, uh, Salat, brother. Uh, I would get one more precept to, to that. Uh, uh. And then, uh, you know, we can move forward. You know, it's just a spirit. Uh. Oh, man. Um, let's see. It says, uh, Titus chapter 2, verse 6, it says, Young men likewise exhort to be sober-minded, okay? And when you go into that word sober, 
in the Greek it's a uh, 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 sophroneto, which which means to be of sound mind, to be in one's right mind. Okay, and when you read that Psalm 51 and 10, it says, "Create in me a clean heart." And we know that word heart goes back to the word mind, which is what in the Hebrew, uh, uh, laab, if I'm not mistaken. Laab, la, la. la, the water, uh, the water. Uh, create in me a clean heart. So if you have a clean heart or a clean mind, you got a sober mind. You have a, a sound mind. You're in your right mind. All right? If you want to expound, brother. Carl, you know what? Um, you hit the nail on the point. Praise the Lord to, to uh, keep us, give us a sound mind. The scriptures say uh, uh, there's nothing worse than a plague of the mind. Yeah, that's right, yep. You know, that's so, right. You know, and uh, everybody's mind that's, that's not meditating, that's not doing, everyone who doesn't know the Lord, their mind is plagued with demons, with wickedness, you know, and they're with, they're, they're walking around in darkness. You know, the mm -hmm. scriptures say we're the light of the world. You know, we got that understanding. That's right. That's right. We shall be able about the goal. We shall be the stability of thy times, like it says. In wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. So, praying right now for the world to get our mind right for the time to come, we're going to be stable. Kind. That's right. That's right. You can jump to that uh, Psalm 19 and come 12. Come, come. I got it right here in my scripture. Go, uh, go ahead, brother. And you, you got it. You break it down too. Uh, this is Psalms 19, verse 12. Who can understand his errors? Cleanse thou me from secret faults. Verse 13. Keep back thy servant also from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Then shall I be upright, and I shall be innocent from the great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O Yehovah, shimmy out shine. My strength and my redeemer. Okay? You know, verse 12 it says, Who can understand his errors comes on me from secret faults? The Lord, we're in this this, this filthy uh, flesh. We gotta constantly praise the Lord to uh, to cleanse us from the from the uh, filthy ways. It says, Keep back thy servant from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. You know, do the Lord cleanse us from uh, from sin from the fulfilling of the lust of the flesh you know it says we're going to be innocent from the great transgression mm -hmm. we're not going to we're not going to uh, we're not going to be we're not going to fall during the time of Jacob's trouble come on come on we're going to be good at the time of Jacob's trouble and the last verse verse 14 let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight O Lord my strength and my redeemer that's how we're going to be cleansed with the Lord dealing with us. You know, us meditating upon His Word. God. That's right. That's a, that's beautiful, man. That's the only... Like, we were speaking about that straight gate, you know? That's God. like these these scriptures that we're pulling, man. This this is the, the path on, on, on to walking that straight gate, man. By meditating on Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, His ordinances, His laws. Going to Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, asking Him to clean, cleanse us, man. Uh, verse 12 again, it says, uh, Who can understand His errors? Okay? Who can understand His errors? Uh, uh, a quick a quick uh, precept. Um, because <clears throat> when you read that, who can understand His errors, that, that, that can go back to the reverence and the fear that you have for you, how about Shimei Shai, right? Because can you all the time catch yourself going off? Or it may, it may, you may recognize that, damn, earlier I went off, but I didn't catch it like that. That's why I'm saying who can understand his errors? Who can understand it all the time? So you always have to have that reverence and fear and, and continue to repent and ask the Lord to cleanse you and, and to be sorrowful, okay? And, and I'm going to give you an example of who was like that. This is uh, Job chapter 1 verse 5. It says, And it was so when the days of their feasting were gone about that Job sent and sanctified them and rose up early in the morning and offered burnt offerings according to the number of them all. 
speaking about he was doing that to for his children because it's going to go into it even further it says for job said it may be that my sons have sinned like it may be going back to that psalm 19 and 12 who can understand his errors it may be that you had sinned so it's best it will behoove you just to keep on sending up repentance prayers keep 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 uh, uh uh cleansing yourself purging yourself asking for forgiveness you know what i'm saying when you when you read um, um in the apocrypha uh the prayer of manasseh because you know i think what is that it, 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 i think it's a uh, second first chron second chronicles i think one of the chronicles the 33rd chapter it shows you what he did man he went he was going off you know and so he had to pray to the lord in repentance because he knew that the lord had infinite mercies because he knew he went off but sometimes there, there'll be some things that you may not know all the way so continuing in, in job 1 and 1 and 5 it says uh for job said it may be that my sons have sinned and cursed the most high in their hearts okay so psalm uh 19 and 12 again it says who can understand his errors cleanse thou me from my secret uh from secret faults okay uh rereading that job 5 again uh, 1 and 5 for job said it may be that my sons have sinned and cursed the most high in their hearts this uh, did job continually he kept continually to pray and to sanctify and to send up uh, 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 offerings uh, unto the Lord, man, because he knew that the Lord, you know, uh, tries the reins of men and knows the hearts of men. So if any anything that's like, you know, of an unclean thought for say, he repenting for it, you know what I'm saying? And that's showing wisdom right there, man. Because who, who, who can understand his errors, man? You know? Who can understand him? You got something, Mark? Uh, la, la, I don't have the scripture, but that made me think of uh, what King David said. I was conceived in sin, you know? Oh, I got it right here. Come, come. This is, this is Psalms 51. This is Psalms 51, verse 5. Behold, I was shaven in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. You know, because, uh, you know, we're in this sinful flesh, you know? And uh, we're going to go off, the scriptures say, a righteous man falls seven times, but gets back up again. And we need the Lord to cleanse us from, from, from going off. That's right. You know? Uh, and that's what this whole thing's about, you know. We're hoping on the Lord to uh, deliver us from these from these sinful bodies, the sinful flesh, into into bodies that never goes off. Mm -hmm. you know? but, but right now, we just have to keep praying for mercy, you know, and, and keep coming more clean and clean and growing in the spirit. That's right. That's right. And uh, I got this Isaiah one because, like you're saying, you know. We gotta keep on being cleaner and cleaner, and this is an example that the or, or uh, you know that the Lord told us to do in order to to uh, gain that cleanliness for say, you know, this is uh, Isaiah chapter one verse sixteen. Uh, wash you, uh, yeah, wash you, make you clean, put away the evil of your doings. From before my eyes, cease to do evil, learn to do well. This is verse 17. Learn to do well, seek judgment, relieve the oppressed, judge the fatherless, plead for the widow. You know? And if you want to uh, uh, um, cleanse yourself and wash yourself, you know, going back to that uh, Ezekiel 33, you know? You do these, you do these certain things, man. You get the blood off your hands. You know, you clean, you cleanse your, uh, your, your, your vessels, your, your physical vessels, and, uh, or your temple, spiritually, man. You cleanse it. You know. And you better do so. <laughs> you know, before all hell breaks loose. You know. Because you don't want to get caught out there. 
you know? I got, a quick, I got a quick one. Go ahead, brother. This is uh, Proverbs chapter 4, verse 18. It says, But the path of the just is as the shining light that shineth more and more until the perfect day. You know, the, the elect, uh, their, their ways are being cleansed and they're, they're trimming out the leaven, becoming cleaner and cleaner to the perfect day when is the perfect day that's the day when how about shin shot comes to judge this earth that's right they're going to be uh their faith is going to be whole they're going to, their, their faith is going to be perfect you know that's right yeah uh you can go ahead and pull that since you said that that 11 you can go ahead and pull that exodus call, call. yep can you go ahead and break it down too brother this is uh exodus chapter 12 uh, verse 15 it says seven days shall you eat unleavened bread even the first day you shall put away leaven out of your houses for whosoever eateth leaven bread from the first day to the seventh day that soul shall be cut off from Israel okay and this is going into the Passover you know and the, the feast of the unleavened bread in uh, Israel they had to uh, they had to clean their house uh, of, of leaven they had to remove all leaven from their house and they couldn't eat any leaven for seven days because they were uh, they were becoming clean mm -hmm. you know and uh, now we're doing the same thing because we're in we're, we're about to be passed over again so, um I'm gonna get that scripture real quick cool. uh, Jeremiah. Uh, this is uh Jeremiah chapter 16 verse 14. Therefore, behold, days come, saith the Lord, that I shall no more that shall no more be said that the Lord liveth, that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Mm -hmm. but, but the Lord liveth, that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north, and from all the lands where he had driven them, and I will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers. So we're about to go through another Passover. So we have to cleanse the leaven. We have to get the leaven about of our out of our um, you know our, our bodies that's right you know and um i got another scripture go ahead brother because um the word body goes back to the latin word bode which means house you know so uh you know our our spirit our, our houses are our bodies you know and uh we're cleansing the leaven um spiritual so uh this is um First Corinthians, the third chapter, verse uh, sixteen. Uh, mm -hmm. Know ye not that you are the temple of the Most High, and that the Spirit of the Most High dwelleth in you? If any man defile the temple, or seventeen, if any man defile the temple of the Most High, him shall the Most High destroy. For the temple of the Most High is holy. Which temple ye are. That's right. Go ahead and get that, that Romans 12. We might as well get it. <laughs> uh, I'll read it. You break it down. Huh? Come on, brother. This is uh, Romans 12 and 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. That's right. Which is your reasonable service. Uh, um, let me get a, a, a quick a quick hitter real quick for Bakasha. Uh, if I'm not mistaken. Um, this is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 13. It says, Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High and keep His commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. Can you reread the uh, uh, Daniel, I mean, it's a lot, Roman 12 and 1 again? Uh, this is Romans 12 and 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. That's right. In your reasonable service, also, like this, the Ecclesiastes say, it's the duty of man is to, is to, to fear the Most High and keep his commandments. And if you do that, everything falls into place, man. Therefore, you have faith, and therefore, you're presenting yourself as a living sacrifice. 
because you're doing what the Lord says. What the Lord says is the guidelines to presenting yourself as a, as a, a clean chaste virgin or as a, a, a presentable uh, uh, or acceptable sacrifice unto him. You know what I'm saying? And like the brother brought out in 1 Corinthians 3 and 16, though it says, uh, Know ye not that ye are the temple of the Most High, and that the Spirit of the Most High dwelleth in you? So why defile your temple when 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 the Lord, like it, it speaks of in, in, in uh, Revelation 3, is, is knocked on the door and you answered, and now you're supping with him, but you got trash laying around everywhere. You know what I'm saying? That's not how you're supposed to be conducting your temple or keeping your temple. You know, physically and spiritually, you're supposed to be constantly cleaning it. You don't just leave your house a mess. So why leave uh, your spirit a mess? That, and, and that's your spirit is exactly what the 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 uh, Yahweh Shemiyashai works with, man. You know, why defile it? Is uh, uh, verse 17? It says, if any man, uh, if any man defile the temple in the Most High, he shall. Uh, uh, him shall the most high destroy keep being unclean keep offering up uh, 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 unworthy sacrifices keep making yourself an unworthy sacrifice you know you're gonna get destroyed by your hell about shimmy was shy man when all this hell and calamity breaks out man you know come and uh since you said that i got daniel's 12. yep let's get into it come this is Daniel 12 and 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. That's right. 70 AD ain't gonna be nothing. World War One ain't gonna be nothing. Uh, 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 the slave, slave uh, transatlantic slave trade, trans uh, uh, sub saharan slave trade, ain't gonna be nothing. World War Two, war, uh, 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 World War Two ain't gonna be nothing. All the the the, the, the past calamities and, and, and the Black Plague ain't gonna be nothing, which killed millions of people. It ain't gonna be nothing about what's to, uh, uh, to what's to come in this Jacob's trouble, man. And if you ain't cleansing and purging yourself. You done for, man. You know? And ultimately, it was predestined that you wouldn't cleanse and purge yourself in the first place. That's why you're not going to be found written in that book. Come. The book of life. You uh, you got, if you want to expound, brother. Come, come. You hit the point. I, uh, I just want to get another precept. Come, go Jeremiah, ahead. Sir. It's Jeremiah 30 and 7. It says, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. He shall be saved out of it. Mm -hmm. You got it, bro. Like, like the brother was 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 saying, and the point of the video, you gotta uh, you gotta cleanse yourself out, get yourself right, so that you can be saved out of that time known as Jacob's trouble. You know, it's a serious time. Mm -hmm. Come, come. Uh, so you know, uh, that's about all I got, brother. You got anything uh, else? Yeah, I, I got um. Uh, one last precept I'm gonna end it on. Con, you got it. Con, this is uh Revelation chapter three verse ten. It says, "Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, mm, beautiful. I also, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth." You can break it down, not. Right? Con, it says, "Because thou hast kept my word of patience." And, and it does not the word tell you to cleanse and purge yourself. Stay on that straight gate. Keep your how about shimmy all shy in his in his uh, laws and commandments and his ordinances. Uh, you have to meditate thereon. Doesn't the scriptures tell you that? Since you kept that, uh, he, he he's gonna. It says I also will keep keep thee from the hour of temptation. Man. And that that's that's a, a very comforting scripture right there, man. It's like you know you read that and you're like yeah. I'm gonna keep pushing. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep uh, cleansing myself. You know, I'm gonna st stay doing what I've been, you know, doing and do even more, man. You know, cause I'm trying to get the hell up out of here and 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 uh, not catch that hell that's about to come, man. You know. Come, come. 
so you know uh you know we uh me uh and the brother shamasha one man we just wanted to come you know to all the akim this is all this is almost like a an exhortation you could say you know just con consistently uh purge yourself and clean cleanse yourself man with this word keep reading man keep studying keep linking up with akim you know keep doing your videos doing your lessons watching the apostles and elders and and, and, and keep keep your how about shim yao shai constantly in your mind man and continually repent and play and pray and cleanse yourself stay healthy eat healthy work out you know continually cleanse yourself it, 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 your temples you know before this before this next passover and we're speaking about you know <laughs> what we read in a uh, uh, uh what's that uh, um jeremiah 16 man you know so this is like an exhortation uh, and lord willing it was edified edifying to you Akim, as well man all right so again we want to give all glory honor and praises unto yahweh bashim yahweh shai bashim uh Raka kodash uh double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone who were well peace love salutation to your let 144 all right shalom hey shalom shalom